Good day. Today, we will talk about measurement. So, technically, measurement is the coherent assignment of values to parameters in a theoretical and or statistical model of a process. Measurement is important in physics because it enables us to use mathematics in argument. It is also important because numbers are usually the most convenient, compact, and least ambiguous way of representing knowledge. In physics, measurement is important because it tells us the size or magnitude of something by comparing that the unknown quantity with some standard quantity of equal nature known as measurement units. So, in converting uh, from one unit to another unit, we need conversion tables. So, such as this is the table 1 and this is the table 2. So, let's focus first on the table 1. So the conversion of units help conversion table helps us to easily convert from one unit to another whether it is SI unit, English unit or ad, uh, other system. Uh, as you can see, uh, I list the different units that is mostly used in physics. So, for example, 1 inch equivalent to 2.54 centimeter. So, instead of doing the long method, uh, we, will, we will be using uh, conversion, of, uh, conversion table, rather. So, another table is for the uh, English unit or the British engineering system. So, I list a few units that are commonly used in physics such as BTU BTU stands for uh, British Thermal Unit okay uh, we have also Joule per calorie okay uh, we have Way and so on so conversion table is very important in converting so for example number one for number one example, we have uh, one, 154.12 meter per second to kilometers per hour. So, according to the given, we need to convert uh, the 154.12 meter per second to its desired unit, which is kilometers per hour. And to do that, uh, we need to use the conversion table. So, in that case, uh, to compute for that first, re re let's rewrite the given. So, 154.12 meter per second, uh, we will convert it to kilometers per hour. So, using conversion table is the easiest way and the fastest way as long as you know the standard values here, uh, you can easily convert it without uh, taking the long method. So, in converting that, uh, first put a bar here and put a multiplication sign. So, always remember that uh, the, the desired unit, we, we always put it to the numerator. And in this case, our desired unit or the unit uh, we want to uh, convert is kilometer per hour. So, we will put kilometers per hour in the numerator. And the unit uh, we want to cancel or eliminate, we will put it to denominator. So, that's all, that is always the rule when converting units, uh, one unit to another, using convert conversion table. So, according to our conversion table, uh, let's find meter per second to kilometers per hour. So, in this case, uh, this is the value for, or this is the standard value for meter per second to kilometers per hour. It means that in one meter per second, 
uh, we have 3.6 kilometers per hour or it is equivalent to 3.6 kilometer per hour and we need to use this value to convert this amount to this unit okay so let's start so according to the table 1 meter per second is equivalent to 3.6 per hour so we will put 1 here and 3.6 in the numerator because 1 meter per second is equivalent to 3.6 kilometers per hour so in this case uh, we will now cancel meter per second because that's the unit we want to eliminate because the other one is in the numerator the other one is in the denominator so we need to cancel it and the desired the unit we get is the kilometers per hour wherein the final ans the unit of the final answer will be the desired unit so to compute for the value or for the magnitude 154.12 multiply by 3.6 divided by 1 so let's put it on our calculator so uh, 154.12 times 3.6 divided by 1 is equivalent to 554.83 so in our case uh, I round it off in two decimal places so the unit for this magnitude is kilometers per hour okay so and this is how we convert meter per second to kilometers per hour another example another example is this one okay so 11.41 11.41 degrees Rankine to Kelvin so we all know that Rankine is a unit for temperature for very low temperature so let's proceed to let's look the value of degrees Rankine to Kelvin so according to our conversion table 1 Rankine is equivalent to 0, 0 0.56 Kelvin so in our case let's write the given first 11.41 degrees Rankine co-convert into Kelvin so let's put a bar sign here and a multiplication sign so the unit we need to cancel is the degrees Rankine so we will put it to the denominator and the desired unit is Kelvin so we need to put it on the numerator so as we look for our conversion table according to the, to the conversion table 1 degrees Rankine is equivalent to 0 0.56 Kelvin so 1 Rankine is equivalent to 0 0.56 Kelvin excuse me uh, we need to put it on our calculator so in this case cancel degrees Rankine cancel degrees Rankine 11.41 multiply by 0 0.56 divided by 1 is equivalent to okay let's put it in our calculator 11.41 multiply by 0 0.56 divided by 1 so it's obvious we need we don't need to divide it so the answer is uh, 6.39 6.39 kelvin okay and that's how we uh, convert from degrees Rankine to Kelvin. Next, next example is uh, what if there is no value for in the conversion table, such as this uh, uh, this example, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So if we are dealing with Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, we all know that it is unit for temperature so 
we have to use the formula. And I have here the formula for converting from one unit of temperature to another unit of temperature, such as this one. So, for example, uh, the given is in Fahrenheit, you need to convert it in, you need to convert it, it to Celsius and to Kelvin, you will use this formula. So, the given Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 over 9. And uh, if you want to convert it from Fahrenheit to Kelvin, you will use this formula wherein F is the given Fahrenheit minus 32 multiplied by 5 over 9 plus 273.15 Kelvin. In case of the Celsius unit, uh, for from Celsius uh, to Fahrenheit, you will use the formula where C is the given degree Celsius multiplied by 9 over 5 plus 32. And if you want to convert it to Kelvin, uh, simply add 273.15 Kelvin. Okay? In Kelvin unit naman, we have to, uh, mul uh, to Fahrenheit, Kelvin minus 273.15 multiplied by 9 over 5 plus 32. But in Celsius, uh, we just subtract 273.15. So, going back to our value, which is 42 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius, so, we need to find the formula for Fahrenheit to Celsius, which in this case, uh, from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So, we need to use this formula. So, in converting that, so, we need to write the formula F minus 32 multiply by 5 over 9 where F is 42 degrees Celsius so therefore for, I, for 42 degrees Fahrenheit rather 42 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 5 over 9 so Let's put it in our calculator. 42 minus 32 multiply by 5 over 9. So the answer is 5.56 degrees Celsius. So that's how you convert uh, units of temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Okay? So, let us check our answer if it's really correct. So, we have 42 minus 32 times 5 over 9. Okay? Correct? So, we have uh, 5.56 degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. For example, number 4, uh, we, we need to convert miles to kilometers. So, in this case, we need to find uh, the value for miles to kilometer in our conversion table. Okay, so in this case, 1 mile is equivalent to 1.6094 kilometers. And for the other unit, 1 mile is also equivalent to 8 furlongs and 5,280 feet. So, but in this case, we will only get miles to kilometer. So, going back to our given, which is 23.21 miles, always remember that we need to put the unit we want to eliminate on the denominator and the desired unit or the unit we want to get is be placed on the numerator. So, in this case, since 1 mile, rather 1 mile, this is 1 mile, uh, is equivalent to 1.6094 
kilometers. So, we need to cancel miles. So, we will get the unit kilometers. So, the equivalent of that is uh, 23. Okay, let's put it in our calculator. 23.21 multiply by 1.6094 divided by 1. So, the answer is 37 37 point 35 kilometers okay so that's how you convert uh, from miles to kilometer okay another example example uh, this is my example number 8 but uh, we will take it as example number 5 so in this case we have a British uh, in a SI unit to a British engineering system unit, which is foot pound per BTU. Okay, so and 12 joule is from SI or joule. Okay, so we need to look for the value of uh, joules to foot pound per v per BTU. So in this case. 1 joule is equivalent to 778 feet pound per BTU. So, to convert 12 BTU, 12 joule to foot pound per BTU, so let's rewrite our given. So, 12 joule, okay, let's put a bar here, then golden rule joule is on the denomi denominator because that's the unit we need to cancel and foot pound per BTU is the unit we want to get okay so for every one joule according to our conversion table for every one joule we have 778 778 foot pound per BTU so, cancel joule. So, we have 12 times 778 divided by 1. So, we have 9,336 foot pound per BTU. Okay? And that's how we convert from one unit which is the SI to a unit of British engineering system.